same thing? Hmm. Replicas and fakes. If it looks like a horse, it nies like a horse, it gallops like a horse, it's a horse. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. Guys, this the season to be woke. With that said, Happy New Year. I know I didn't get to say it really, truly to your face. I hope everyone had a great holiday season. And now we are embracing 2023. And for those who are new, welcome aboard. Oh my God, we are going to have some fun for this 2023. So make sure you like and you share so that YouTube could recognize that I am contributing positively to its platform. Let's do this. Let's be woke. Because as you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. As you guys may see, today's topic is one that I really wanted to tackle. And it is, I believe, in my best interest to keep you woke. You know, we often hear the expression, the lights are on, but nobody's at home. Guys, today, I'm going to keep the lights on. I'm going to wake you up and I'm going to keep you woke because replicas, fakes, dopes, whatever you call them. Honestly, I, I am very ambivalent about it but i'll give you my two cents from a sustainable point of view so replicas they have been around for years there is a market for them there is a reason why there is a market for them i think it stems from our last discussion on luxury and how it makes others feel outside of a certain class that the concept of luxury is very classist and when people feel like they're on the outside they often resort to almost anything to feel included to be in the in crowd and it, sometimes yeah they do crazy things it's not good but it's the kind of system we are living in where you feel pressured into doing crazy things so that you could look a certain way to people in society. It's no longer keeping up with the Joneses. It's keeping up with the Smiths, the Johnsons, the... It's, it's keeping up with the non-celebrities. Yeah. So, anyway, my thoughts on replicas. Replicas are everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. And I'm going to let you in on a secret. Every brand does it. High end and low end. And it looks like you're not taking me seriously. But every single brand that you could think of, and I'm not even going to name them, they all do it. Take, for example, this. Could you even tell what this brand is? Okay, well, for the sake of this video, I'll let you know that it's a Marc Jacobs bag. But... I could have told you that this bag is probably another brand, right? What would you have guessed? No, seriously. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave you to guess. But it goes to my point that every single brand 
do some sort of replication and slap their names on it. Look at this one. And again, I'll tell you what it is. It's one of my, it, these two bags, actually, I love them and I bought them because they looked similar to another brand and it was essentially my toes dipping into the low tier luxury. And I'm like, I got these bags. Then I went to Aldo. Aldo has the same bags. And then I look at these and I look at Aldo's and I'm like, why did I pay so much for these? And trust me, a lot of the times the replicas are very great materials as well. The exact thing as you would find on some websites. And trust me, Poshmark has a lot of fake brands on there. And they may not like me to say this. It's one of the reasons why sometimes I try to ease back and ask a lot of questions on Poshmark because you would see them. They are not ashamed to let you know that this is an exact copy or it's a one to one ratio copy. They tell you. Now, if I'm going to buy a replica, I ha absolutely have to love that bag and and it has to be similar to the real deal and don't you dare point a finger at me if I tell you I'm gonna buy a replica bag because sometimes when you see you spend so much money on the real deal and the replica is out there with and let me tell you this information the exact same thing so here's what I realized that the replica brands are doing they are buying the real thing and they are as the word clearly states replicating it with the exact material and all the details and i know that there's some very shitty fakes out there i'm not talking about those lower tier fakes. no not at all i'm talking about the real deal where the they line up every stitch. This is not a fake. This is my hard on money for these bags. But trust me sometimes. Here is another example of a brand that definitely replicates. Now, at first glance, I thought this was... What did you think this was? No, look at it very carefully. No. Nope. It's not Valentino. This is Mr. Michael Kors. And I put an insert in it because it's a bit too big. But yeah. It's Michael Kors. And guys, I love it regardless. I do. But every single brand replicate they replicate each other so this it's just like any other loafer that i see out there the only difference is the logo and you know that the luxury promoters they know that the luxury brands they know that they're all made in the same factories and they just slap their brands on it and sell it at exorbitant prices and while they could sell whatever they like at their own price it's up to me as a consumer whether i buy it you don't get to dictate my spending habit haven't you seen this slide also like somewhere but with another brand no Seriously? Hmm. Haven't you seen another slide like this with another brand attached to it? Do you shop at Zara? Yeah? Okay. Enough said. Urban Revival? 
is Chanel Revival. You need to call it what it is. If it nies like a horse, it looks like a horse, and it gallops like a horse, it is a horse. Urban Revival is Chanel Revival. It's a replica, and many of us, of, of course, because it makes us feel and sleep better at nights, we would refer to it as a dupe because there's a difference between a dupe and a replica. It's a replica. It's a fake. In fact, it's not even the same quality. And many of the content creators that are sponsored by Urban Revival often go to great lengths to tell you, to express to you what great quality materials they are. But oftentimes, most are polyester. And guys, it's fast fashion. It's a replica. And I'm sticking to that. So we often need to take stock of how we promote ourselves. We cannot just reframe things to suit our advantage because you're being paid. I've, I've looked at content creators in the past that they would often, for example, say to you, well, don't buy big floral items because they are dated or they date easily. They are not timeless. But as soon as they get sponsored by Farm Rio or Dolce and Gabbana or Dior that often make very bold, beautiful prints, Suddenly, out of the sky, the sky opens and, oh my God, this is, this is so gorgeous. The print is beautiful. It's all of a sudden very timeless and it's a classic. All because you're being paid. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like, if it's a fake, if it's a replica, call it what it is, and every brand does it. We need to stay true to ourselves and don't reframe things because it suits our narrative or our paycheck. I am losing a lot of respect for those OG content creators that are not being honest. Um, how could you? two days ago or five videos ago, six months ago even, tell me that something doesn't age well, it's not your thing, it's not timeless. And as soon as you get sponsored, then all of a sudden, it's a great dupe. It's timeless. It's a classic. It's a forever piece. All because you're sponsored. Come on, your timeless anyway is your timeless, regardless of whether it's a big print or small print. But you need to be true to yourself. And I'm not saying that people don't evolve and that you don't um, change your belief system or that your style don't change because of money. You know. You could buy your way into fashion, but you can't buy your way into style because style is unique to you. It's in your DNA. And that is not my quote. It's a really respected woman that I absolutely love because when she said that, she really, she really hit the hammer right onto the nail. And I love that because oftentimes content creators they just want us to buy our way into fashion instead of encouraging us to be stylish. And guys, stay with me. Stay woke. Honestly. So, that is one of my main issues. Don't suddenly call a replica a dupe because it now fits into your narrative. If it's a replica, it's a replica. Urban Revival is a replica.
you could come at me as much as you want. And this is not me throwing shades at content creators out there. But oftentimes, we need to be held accountable. We, we, we do. We say things and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, I changed my mind. You're allowed to change your mind. But at the same time, don't lie because you're being sponsored. That's all I'm saying. Have you ever come across influencers that tells you to buy perfumes? And oh, this perfume smells so much like La Baccarat. And that seems to be the it perfume and every other perfumes or cologne is being compared to some other high-end brand because what they are essentially telling you is that you're going to smell lux if you buy this version what do you think that version is obviously it's not the real thing it's replica the whole fashion industry if you think about it it's some brand re replicating another brand in fact so many brands today borrow styles from ages ago often not even giving them credit for it the stealing of intellectual property and nowadays ideas it's very common so don't let anyone throw stones at you when they are essentially doing the same thing in in so many different ways and they try to throw the moral code at you if you buy a fake bag or a replica let's not use the word fake let's just say it's a copy or a replica in fact also last year i bought this on ebay and I am sure Zara copied this from, oh my God, I can't remember the brand. But I am sure I saw this brand. This, I absolutely believe, is a copy. Yes, Zara may not have made it into the original style. For example, I believe the original style has a platform. Regardless, we all borrow people's ideas and YouTubers, celebrities, all those people that advertise these things and tell you that if you wear this or if you buy this, you're going to achieve the same economic status like I do. That aspiration in itself encourages you to live beyond your means and to buy fakes. So I don't understand. So why then do they come down so hard on other non-brands that do the same thing? If, you, if others in your line of luxury world is doing it, why are you bashing? And why are some YouTubers really bashing those that buy replicas? You're promoting a lifestyle that many people cannot afford. And oftentimes you're forcing them. Because yes, indeed, you're forcing your lifestyle on these people. And don't tell me about, oh, it's aspirational in nature. People could aspire to live a certain lifestyle. But they could also buy things that doesn't cost them their life savings. But when you push these things into their faces and make them feel less of an individual in society, make them feel that status is everything, they're going to go to various lengths to get what they want. And they're not the only ones. What I've just discovered recently is that there are many rich people and this is based on an article that I read and also on the video that I've seen with this information.
rich people are buying replicas because they say it's as good as the real thing. Could make all sort of excuse, we could call them dupes if we like, but whatever it is that make you sleep better at night, then you do you. So, as we have seen that dupes or replicas or fakes are definitely a staple right now on the market within most economies as we speak we are often led to believe that the replica industry it does finance whether it's human trafficking hopefully not terror oh my god that would be heartbreaking but we have to be mindful that these are clear and present dangers whenever we consume replicas on the market. On the other hand, if we are to be on the ethical side of things, we also have to take the workers into consideration. And we would note that the replica or the fake bags, especially luxury industry is often promoted and encouraged by the luxury brands themselves take from that whatever you want but it's what's happening all i could say to you is that stay woke be wise be sustainable at the same time be you do you don't make others influence you into being somebody that you're not if you buy a fake bag or a replica flaunt it don't be embarrassed don't make them shame you because you buy a replica that's what you could afford especially if others up there are doing it those in the high income brackets are doing it there's a reason and people are thinking that they have the real thing and interestingly they don't care if you know that they have the replica so there's something to be said about that guys <laughs> sometimes it's only we down here who are being foolish who are being shamed even the market is recognizing now that replicas are here to stay they are no longer even punishing you for buying replicas actually it's only if you resell it <laughs> yeah anyway back to the point sometimes it, you're getting sometimes even better quality replicas than the actual thing as i've said before in another video the brands these days because of whatever reason maybe greed maybe it's the fact that we are living in an environment where materials are becoming scarce so they have to stretch their materials to such a lower quality that they're no longer producing the same quality that they used to in the past but then again on the other hand i am leaning towards the side of greed the reason being is that i was looking at a documentary recently and this person was interviewing factory workers who were protesting the fact that these high-end brands are not paying them and that's what really 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 gets to me because these are companies that make so much money from the backs of these workers and I am a little bit peeved at this because I know what it's like to work in a factory setting trust me i used to thread needles on a factory line to make appliques for these big superstars players sport players 
So I have a sense of what it's like. It's back breaking. It's a 12 hour shift. Six days per week. You get up at 5 a.m. And you take a bus beyond the train line. Yes. And you go to work and you're never home until 8 and 9 and 10 p.m. that night. And you have to get up again at 5 a.m. So that is why I often say that by second hand. But while listening to this documentary and realize that these are workers fighting for money that they deserve that they have earned from high-end luxury brands yes you could name them all yes all of them yes every single one of them and their quiet luxury my two feet whatever I don't want to sound like the typical angry woman here, the stereotypical, but seriously, these issues get me upset because these are companies, one particular company made so much money during the pandemic at a time when you think that they wouldn't be making money. Often times we think that the workers are aware of the fact that they're producing fakes, uh, 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 not necessarily the case. You would note some workers are not even aware that they're producing fakes until the company is seized. Guys, stay woke. The interesting thing is that we are often led to think that these workers are aware that they are making counterfeit products. One of the workers was laughing and it gave him satisfaction because he said that the replicas were made better than the authentic ones. And I'm like, boom, revenge of the workers. That is something that these companies need to pay attention to. There's a market for replicas and that market would definitely kick them to the curb because it is doing so. And I'm not going to tell you what to do. If replica is your thing, who am I to tell you what not to do? If you want to keep up with the, the Smiths, whoever. If that's your way into it and you bought it, you like it, and you're going to keep on buying it because it's more aligned to your economic financial status, who am I to stop you? The only thing I would say is that I often advocate buying secondhand because it's not newly produced material. So from a sustainable point of view, I would discourage the purchasing of replicas because it's using newly produced materials. From an economic and ethical standpoint, where this actual worker saying they produce better replicas because they're getting better pay for producing the replicas than for producing the authentic ones. Oh my God, seriously, it, is, is, is there a question that somebody just asked? Should I be shouting so that you at the back could hear me even louder? Seriously, the decision is all yours. You do you, I'm gonna do me. In the grand scheme of things, as I've mentioned before, all brands replicate each other but yet they seem or appear to be very self-righteous and all of a sudden very ethical when it comes to the underground market that replicates stuff note this that almost 90 percent of brands luxury or not manufacture their products in China 
And that, that's one of the things that people often bring to the forefront when it comes to discussing replicas that, oh, it's made in China, in factories, with very questionable, yeah, hooded people. No, it's being done right in front of your faces. Right in front of your faces. And under the guise of many of the most reputable brands that you buy, luxury brands, that is. Guys, stay woke. Be woke and stay woke. For anyone who is so ethically concerned about the impact of buying fakes, you should be equally concerned about the impact of fast fashion. I challenge you to stop buying fast fashion and that would help resolve all of these issues combined, whether it's a dupe, a fake, or whatever. Whatever name you want to refer to it as. I challenge you to stop buying fast fashion, then automatically people would stop buying fakes because these luxury brands they're all involved in fast fashion every single one of them and as i've said before the quality is no different so if you you're going to throw the ethical book at anyone for buying fakes or replicas you should realize that when you hold a book up to throw it, it's also pointing back at you. And it may just slip and come at you instead of at the person you're aiming it at. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have learned something. And I'll see you next Sunday. Do come back.